<laughs> That's right, we are still in County 001. NTV is on the sea. And uh, in keeping with that uh, theme, more often than not, I bet when you think of a pilot, you think of taking it to the spies. But right here on the sea, there's a type of pilot whose job it is to steer ships into the dock. That's right. It's like, uh, let's say, valet parking for ships, if you will. Now, we tagged along with these sea pilots and got a glimpse of what it involves. And trust me, it's quite something. It be the biblical tale of Noah's Ark or Jonah boarding a cargo ship before being thrown overboard and having to stomach being in the belly of a sea creature, this sea monster's reputation precedes it. But for all its impressive ability to sail the deepest seas in turbulent waters, it cannot steer itself. And all hands on deck eventually return to shore. It takes a certain kind of metal and the accompanying sea legs to steer a ship to shore when sailing a foreign land. And this is where the pilots come in. Pilotage is local knowledge. They are deep sea captains, but uh, to bring the ship in, there is a local knowledge. They are, there is current, there is wind and tide, location of the bats to know where they are going. These pilots go out, meet ships, and bring them to dock safely. Once their objective is met, they steer them back out to the deep seas where they hand the keys back over. But it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> One boards and disembarks the ship by way of a ladder thrown over the side. I wouldn't deny it is a dangerous job. You see, the weather sometimes uh, this uh, is a mechanical hoist. They can harm some uh, failures. When you are putting your weight on the ladder, then it just suddenly falls down and drops you into the sea. The kind of job that requires specialist training. Well, it's just like maybe an airline pilot where you go to college, then you have to do your sea time where they log the flying hours. For us, we call it sea time. So for every stage you have to go, you have to do 18 months sea time, one and a half years. But when all is said and done, they admit nothing beats the rush. The adrenaline comes definitely because of the freeboard, the height of vessels and the type of vessels that uh, you are bringing in and out of the port. Yeah. 